Luke chapter 5, The First Disciples One day as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge, for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing, but if you say so, I'll let down... I let the nets down again, and this time the nets were so full of fish they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in the other boat, and soon both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell on to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm too much of a sinner to be around you. For he was awestruck by the number of fish they had caught, as uh, as were the others with him. His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. Jesus heals a man with leprosy. In one of the villages, Jesus met a man with advanced case of leprosy. When the man saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground, begging to be healed. Lord, he said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Then Jesus instructed him not to tell anyone what had happened. He said, go to the priest and let him examine you. Take along the offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. But despite Jesus' instructions, the report of his power spread him spread even faster, and vast crowds came to hear him preach and to be healed of their diseases. Jesus often withdrew for, to the wilderness for prayer. Jesus heals the paralyzed man. One day, while Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of religious laws were sitting nearby. It seemed that these men showed up from every village in all Galilee and Judea, as well as from Jerusalem, and the Lord's healing power was strongly with Jesus. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat. Uh, They tried to take him inside to Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because of the crowd. So they went up to the roof and took off some tiles. Then they lowered the sick man on his mat down into the crowd, right in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man, Young man, your sins are forgiven. But the Pharisees and teachers of religious law said to themselves, Who does he think he is? That's blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, Why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say your sins are forgiven or stand up and walk? So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. And immediately as everyone watched, the man jumped up, picked up his mat, and went home praising God. Everyone was gripped with great wonder and awe and they praised God exclaiming we have seen amazing things today Jesus calls Levi Matthew later as Jesus left the town he saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at his tax collector's booth follow me and be my disciple Jesus said to him so Levi got up left everything and followed him later Levi held a banquet in his home with Jesus as the guest of honor Many of Levi's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them, but the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained bitterly of Jesus' disciples. Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Jesus answered them, Healthy people do not need a doctor, sick people do. I have come to call I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners and need to repent. A discussion about fasting. One day, some people said to Jesus, John the Baptist's disciples fast and pray regularly, and so do the disciples of the Pharisees. Why are your disciples always eating and drinking? Jesus responded, Do wedding guests fast while celebrating with the groom? Of course not. But someday the groom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. 
Then Jesus gave them this illustration. No one tears a piece of cloth from a new garment and uses it to patch an old garment. For then the new garment would be ruined and the new patch wouldn't even match the old garment. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. For the new wine would burst the wineskins, spilling the wine and ruining the skins. New wine must be stored in new wineskins, but no one who drinks the old wine seems to want the new wine. The old is just fine, they say.